All right, I'm going to use one camera today. Um, I just don't feel need to use two cameras uh, today. I'm uh, going to work on his leggings. Now, he's got a lot of stress on the leather, so a lot of the wrinkles that would form, like where he's standing on, up with the uh, leggings kind of drooping a little bit, uh, it won't be drooping as much. So I've also put a filler in here for the uh, fringe that's going to go down the side of his leg. I'm not going to do any kind of wrinkles under here because it's all going to be covered by fringe. And I'm going to fill in for the uh, fringe underneath because uh, it has to be filled in. Time to play with some clay. I'm really happy with the way this uh, piece is turning out. And uh, I hope I don't screw it up. <laughs> I gotta make sure I got the fringe the same height from the bottom of this cuff. That's just about right. The only bad thing about this uh, pasta cutter or pasta machine is when you run clay through the uh, pasta or the uh, spaghetti cutter the clay bundles up at the top part of the uh, cut and so you have to try to work that out I'm thinking I should have probably used monster clay instead of regular clay monster clay seems to go through the uh, cutter a lot better than the uh, regular clay I think I will. It may take me a few minutes to get the monster clay warmed up enough, but I'm going to go ahead and get my monster clay out and prepare to make a uh, new fringe out of that. And that's going to include the uh, this leg over here. All right, be right back. Well, the uh, fringe comes through a lot better with a monster clay than it does with the regular clay. And uh, no bunching up at the top part where it uh, first goes through the uh, pasta machine. The only th thing is I get a little bit of the leftover clay from that I ran through there. But the uh, fringe comes out a lot better, a lot more distinctly. And that's what I want. All right. I'll clean up these uh, scenes a little bit more later. But I think to get a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about, the fringe just looks a whole lot better with monster clay than it does with regular clay with uh, J-Mac. J-Mac's just too soft. Alright, I got this leg done. I've got it all backed up with clay so that uh, they can cast it. 
And uh, now I'm going to start on his uh, shot pouch. I'm making this out of monster clay as well. All right, I got the uh, pouch made out of the uh, monster clay. And what I'm going to do now is uh, make some tacks to go around the lid or the uh, flap just to give it some kind of design it's called eye candy you gotta have eye candy on your sculpture <laughs> Now I've got to have it go under the strap for the uh, rifle. Let's do the uh, powder horn. Now the powder horn would be made out of either cow horn <coughs> or, and in this case, buffalo horn. And 
and I would have a lip where the uh, strap for the uh, horn would attach back here. Detail, detail, detail. <coughs> I ran a long piece of uh, monster clay through the spaghetti maker. And that will be the uh, strap that will attach to the powder horn. But they'll replace this with wire when they cast the bronze. They can't cast something that thin and by itself. So, uh, let's see, I don't need the flame anymore. <laughs> Looks good. I'm going to put some tacks on this uh, powder horn. Because they would tack... A wood plug into the uh, bottom of the uh, opening down here so they could uh, pour powder into it and not have it fall out. Now I'm not going to go all the way around the horn because part of it won't be showing. No use to waste my time Sometimes it's hard to get in areas. <laughs> pushing my sculpting stand around. <laughs> okay. got a phone call just as uh, I started painting this. Alright, now that I got this uh, clay in, this strap, I can start working on the wrinkles of the shirt a little bit better, get them fine-tuned. That 
And uh, this will be it for today. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.